the recording. Okay. We're going. Woohoo! Good morning. Welcome to Supercharger Health. We're here today at Your Total Body Wellness Center in Venice. Um, and we have a guest with us today. Woohoo! Yay! Our guest is Louis Cruz. And it's Relax, relax massage. massage. Okay. Um, so we're going to talk about massage and how it can benefit your health. And Why don't you say who you are? Oh, I'm Suzanne with Discount Med Direct. Hi, <laughs> and I'm Beth Annie Stockdale with your Total Body Wellness Center. <laughs> So, um, Lewis is my massage therapist. I, if anyone is here in Venice and they haven't been to see him, I highly recommend him. Uh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I tell everyone about him. I don't know how many people have gone to see him that I've told, but I, I, uh, I carry his cards in my purse, so I can always give out his cards. And I think you and I go back, like, how many years? I want to say four or five years. Yeah, well, the first time you and I met each other um, at another wellness center type situation. <laughs> Actually, we were getting interviewed, too, so this yeah. is funny that we've come full, full yeah, circle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think we figured it out that Beth and I met you about the same time. Um, yep. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. So. I, I was, uh, I started with Lewis. He was kind of in between places. I've been through, I think, uh, three places <laughs> or so now with him. So. Three locations, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I keep going, no matter where he's at. You just follow him. I do. I don't Are have you stalking him? <laughs> it's okay. I, I enjoy it. I'm okay with that. He, al he moved almost to my neighborhood, so. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> he's closer. He's getting closer to me. It makes it more convenient. <laughs> All right, so we're going to talk. We're, what we do here is we talk about health and, and how different things, gadgets, people, uh, things like massage can help people. So why don't you tell us how you got into massage and then we can go from there. Perfect. Um, how I got into massage. Uh, so I got hurt at a young age playing football mm -hmm. uh, and I wanted to be an athletic trainer. Um, <laughs> I wanted to be the one that ran out on the field and um, tried to figure out what was going on. Um, through my uh, research, I learned that most um, athletic trainers go and do massage first so they can get the anatomy part of it. Um, I went and did massage and I, it kind of just struck a, a huge interest and I felt like I didn't need to go anymore. I'm, <laughs> I, I found what I wanted to do, so I just stuck with it. So um, it was difficult at the beginning, especially as a, uh, as a male massage therapist. Um, a lot of women are very skeptical about having a man uh, touch them. Um, a lot of people in the States think it's very, it can be very sexual. Um, I assure you, there are some people out there that do that, um, but I would not have created a name for myself if I did that. So I am very happy of what I've become and uh, my style of massage. So um, yeah. Don't you do sports massage? I do. Talk about um, your background with that a little bit. So yes, I uh, I, I have done some sports massage. Um, that's how I started my career. Um, in uh, in the in the line of work that I do now, not too many people need the sports massage anymore. Um, I used to uh, I used to work on uh, NFL players uh, when I first started. A good friend of mine was in the NFL, and I was his personal massage therapist. Um, but the type of work I do on a on a professional athlete compared to the common day you know, junkyard, you know, weekend warrior type of thing are two totally different things. So what types um, of massage are there then? Oh, oh wow, there's countless of, countless <laughs> of endless <laughs> massages. Um, more, more of the, the mainstream ones are, you know, you have your Swedish, which is relaxation. Uh, you have your deep tissue, which is definitely something more towards professional athletes that need to be back on the field the next day. Uh, so you need to get in there, get everything loosened up, get all those uh, that get the acid out of the muscles. Um, you have your hot stones, which is more relaxation. Uh, you have your stretching, um, you, which I do do. Uh, you also have more of a. Um, I'm not sure how to explain it. Uh, I've created my own style where I take a little bit from everything that I've learned, and try and form to what somebody needs. So if they need myofascial work. I can do myofascia. Can you go ahead and explain what that is? So myofascia is, for instance, look, think of your skin as your, it's your living organism. And underneath your skin is another layer that helps uh, keep everything together. Um, and that is also considered somewhat of a muscle. And when that gets tight, it doesn't matter what you do. You can, you can work out every single muscle, but if your myofascia is, you know, kind of in its stuck position, it's very difficult to get the relief that you'd like. The way I've explained it to my clients is that it's like having a super heavy compression stocking over top of the muscle and it's sticky. 
so it sticks to the muscle and won't let it expand Correct. or plump up. So you can't stretch it and you can't work it without the pain. Exactly. So especially men. Yes. Men, your calves <laughs> are like steel. Um, yeah, and you wonder why your back hurts, and I want to talk about that a little bit. But that's the way I explain it to people. It's like this compression stocking that won't allow the muscle to expand exactly. or stretch. And then what do you do for that? Uh, so myofascia is um, it's 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 on almost on the terms of like deep tissue. Okay. Um, it is somewhat painful um, <laughs> because obviously you are pulling and stretching, and I will warn you. Um, but usually after you get it loosened up, yeah. it's usually not a problem, especially if you maintain it as well. Um, and I'm not saying maintain. Come get a massage every week. Some uh, some of my clients who who get who get myofascia, they come once every three months. They come twice a year. So it's not something that has to be done, you know, religiously every month, every week. It's something that if, as long as you take care of yourself, you do the stretching uh, at home, uh, you get with a personal trainer and work out in certain areas, you should be pretty good and you don't need to have that kind of particular pain on an everyday basis. What are the most common uh, ailments, pains, stressors that you see in people's bodies as a massage therapist? Um, so obviously the biggest thing I get is stress. Um, there's different kinds of stress. There's anxiety, depression, um, and a lot of 90% of America holds their stress in between their shoulders. So, <laughs> so yes, she's always pushing my shoulders <laughs> down too. <laughs> so when um, when you when you deal with that kind of stress, it's it's a multitude of things, um, and pretty much what it is is one relaxation is one of the things that you need to. You have to be able to let your body cope to what's going on and to allow accept it and release it uh, massage is a huge indicator um, to help that another one is working out that's another stress reliever um, the other one is also lower back pain uh, lower back pain is a huge issue that we have uh, that I find um, and it has to do a lot with you know how people sit at work um, p uh, body position um, what people do when they are trying to pick things up uh, bending over with the back instead of with the legs. Um, the other thing is is the glutes. Um, a lot of people are really scared about having their glutes worked on, uh, especially by a man. Some, you know, it, but when you think about it, your your glutes are your kind of your glue from your upper body to your lower body. If you just get your back done and you just get your legs done, there's a huge chunk missing. Because it's that's the connection. Where they connect. yeah. Exactly, that's yep. where the connection is. Yep. And a lot of people who don't get their glutes worked on. That lower back is usually where they have all their pain because those glutes are holding on to that lower back. So if you don't get that relief on one particular side, then it's it's going to continue to go on. Because it's so. like a tug back and exactly. forth exactly. between the two different sides. Got it. Um, and let me just insert here that I have been, like I said, with you for probably four or five years now. and. He is very professional. I have never felt uncomfortable. My mom goes to him. She's in her 70s, and she loves him too. Um, so don't women out there, don't hesitate. I have sent men to I him. I got mom's approval, so. There you go. So, yeah, don't feel like he's going to be inappropriate in any way. He will tell you what he's going to do if he thinks there's something that you might feel a little bit uncomfortable with, and you can tell him to stop. So. Ladies out there, don't hesitate to go to at least this man. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for that. Um, and uh, I've even recommended my clients, and you were, you have a few of my clients. Um, the one thing about it, too, is when you're doing the deep tissue, you need strong hands. Yes. Especially when you're getting into certain areas. Correct. And um, that's where some of the benefit is. Especially with people that are working out, they need, you know, whether you call it deep tissue, whatever it is that you need to get in there and actually release. Yes. Yeah. So, so one thing I always like to try and inform people, uh, there's plenty of people that go and ask for deep tissue, and they come into my office, we talk, it sounds like they want deep tissue, and then I give them medium, medium pressure, and they're jumping off the table. <laughs> so I always, the, my first session is always a way to try and figure out what the body actually needs. Um, with deep tissue, it is very, and maybe invasive is not the word, but that's what, what I use. It's, it, I am deep into your muscles. It uh, does hurt. Um, and like I said, deep tissue is more of something for a professional athlete that needs to be on the field the next day without having any ailments. Um, so what I try and do is if I can work it out within three sessions, 
Great. I will try. I will do everything else I possibly can other than myofascia and deep tissue. But if it, by the third session, if that is what you need, perfect. That is what you need. I've yet to have, I've only had one person to prove me wrong. <laughs> and that was Annette Gustin from Aquatech Pools. Oh. She told me she wanted deep tissue. And by the end of her first session, she got her deep tissue. She's the only person to ever <laughs> prove me wrong. So shout out to Annette. <laughs> well, anything else? I know you got plenty more to ask, out of the way. <laughs> she got to hold the microphone, though, when she talks. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, stress. We're talking about stress. I know. We were talking <laughs> about stress. Um, do you do any types of lymphatic massage? So a lymph, uh, lymphatic massage, is. Um, it, I do not have that certification. Um, I know the, the boundaries around it and what you are supposed to do. Um, but I, 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 in good, um, how do I say faith. this? In good faith, faith. I, I, I don't do it only because I'm one, not certified specifically in certified in it. Got um, it. it's also something that, uh, when you do a lymphatic drainage, uh, massage, it's not just one massage. It is a series of six massages that you have to go every 72 hours to get. Um, I do know there's a, a fantastic person in Inglewood, Terry Duff, that does amazing stuff uh, with lymphatic drainage. She has a, quite a following with lymphatic drainage. Oh, cool. uh, so I push normally push everyone to her just because she's certified in it, and you know she's been doing it for several, several years. So okay, good. Um, so one general question for everybody: <laughs> When I used to get a little massage, um, the massage therapist would tell me that I was growing rock gardens in my <laughs> shoulders. What exactly causes the knot or the lesion? I have one of those too. <laughs> <laughs> a rock garden in your shoulders? Oh, just one, <laughs> really. <laughs> well, yeah, so what causes one on one side and not the other? So um, a lot of it has to do with uh, your daily routine. Uh, so if you're right-handed, a lot of the times your knots are going to be on your right side. Mouse. Mouse. Um, mouse. Uh, carrying minus, things. Minus uh, probably the phone. Yeah, the phone. Absolutely, <laughs> the phone. This is that shoulder, and that's where my phone yep. goes. Another one is uh, w uh, when your ladies carry your purses. Uh, what shoulder? You have the shoulder being drugged down, but then the shoulders being pulled up because of the. <laughs> like, yeah, I know. Like right. thinking about yeah. it now. <laughs> so, um, so what it is? It's uh, it's overuse of a muscle. And the lactic acid built up in that particular muscle. Um, so usually, a lot of people get them in between the shoulder blades and the spine. Um, and it's right here. And a lot, of, a lot of times on the top too, because of the trap oh. is, a, is a being used, especially when you're holding that phone. Um, and pretty much, um, what I like to do is a little bit of trigger, uh, trigger point therapy. Explain what that is. So trigger point therapy is finding a, posi uh, really a particular good. position. <laughs> um, I usually involve the client to take some deep breaths. Breathing uh, works. Breathing works. Um, <laughs> works. If you ever if you ever stubbed your toe and you held your breath, the pain just stays and stays and stays. And then the second you start breathing, it starts to alleviate. Same concepts. I, I breathing said, is not optional. I, I, <laughs> I find the spot. I have you take a few deep breaths, and usually within three deep breaths, uh, you you literally start to feel it melt Releasing. away. Um, sure. And then of course that causes other little spots to come up, so then I go and find those. Because once you can release one muscle, a lot of the pressure goes to some of the other muscles around. Really? Yeah, so that's why, uh, so sometimes, you know, I, I find the muscle, or I find the, the trigger point, I get it to release, and then I find another one. They're like, oh my God, I didn't know that was there. Well, that's because it's now created because now the pressure is moving to another part of the muscle, if that makes sense. Huh, that's interesting. Yes. I yeah, I know when he does my shoulders, it's it's kind of a process down, like down that muscle that the, the sore spot moves down and he goes down. It gets usually gets less yes. as it as it moves through the muscle, but yeah. So and it's all it's also a way to filter out the acid out of the muscle. Okay. So I get that every time. <laughs> <laughs> I have all that in my shoulders. Back there. So um, is there anyone out there with our listeners that should not be getting massage? Um, different medical conditions. Um, well, yes. Um, any, if you've been to, to see a doctor for any kind of medical condition in the last month, if you want to go get a massage, get a doctor's note that says you're able to get massage. Um, without that being, you know, other than that, um, sunburn. Don't get a massage. Yeah, that would be uncomfortable. Uh, yes. Um, health issues. Um, for instance, uh, if you have a heart disease. Okay. Um, if you had a stroke. Um, if you have any kind of uh, blood clot. 
Um, those are those are usually the, the, the top three that people ask, um, can I get a massage? And I always say, I need a doctor's note. Okay, so for specifically for blood clots, mm -hmm. um, if someone has a history of blood clots, you know, you know, calves, um, can you do like a chair massage on their shoulders and neck? Uh, yes, I can do a chair massage. Um, if, if you have a blood clot and a in in a limb, mm -hmm. I would I, I would just suggest not getting massage on that particular limb. Absolutely. Um, if uh, if you have a, a blood clot, for instance, close to your your lungs or something like that, right, right. that would indicate maybe I should hold off. That would be a doctor's note. Um, but if it's if it's something in your in your leg, and you are looking for your neck and shoulders to be absolutely chair massage. I would probably refrain from doing uh, table massage only because then people tend to go a little further. Right. Um, you know, oh yeah, that feels great. Yeah, can you work on this? Can you work on this? If you're in a chair massage. It limits. Exactly, it limits to what you can do. Um, talk about the chair massage a little bit. Uh, what would you like to know? <laughs> <laughs> um, so what chair kind of service do you provide as far as chair massage? So chair massage is, um, is a fantastic way to, for those people who are working at desks, who um, don't have time to get out of the office, um, who are, have kids running all over the place and don't have time to take an hour, but you just put them down for a nap and you know they're, they're down for 30 minutes. Would you go to see them? Yes, yes. Moms? I do. <laughs> <laughs> I do go to see them. Um, it, one of the best things you can do if you are a business owner is to treat your employees. Easiest way is chair massage. 10 minutes, you, it is incredible what the morale in the office will be after a chair massage. And I've seen it many, many times. Everyone's down, everyone's kind of grumpy. I'm there for two hours, got 20 people on the chairs. I, as I'm walking out, you see smiles, you see enthusiasm, you hear people on the phone and you, they sound like they're in a better mood. Uh, massage is something that improves your circulation, which in, um, endor um, releases endorphins, which makes you happy. Ta-da! So it's a trifecta. Tri chair massages are amazing. And then it's also, if people are worried about massage, that's an easy way to get familiar with massage, is chair massage. You stay clothed. Um, it's for 10 to 20 minutes at the most. And if, if, if it starts to work for you and you see it working for you, then maybe you take a step to 30 minutes. And as much as I don't like to say this, but a top, you know, you're on the table, no shirt, no bra, women. Um, men, no shirt, no bra, and yeah, no bra for men either. Um, but you get to you, you can slowly work yourself into a massage to where you to where you're comfortable instead of going full blown. Oh my god, I don't like people touching me. Oh my god, oh my god, you know. Right. Um, that I've had to deal with a few times where people weren't weren't comfortable. Right. How about this? I'll put you in a chair and we just work this particular out and then we build up. Well, and talk about that a little bit about how you it would explain to a person that's never had a massage to get ready what do they have to do gotcha so when you walk into my office um we we have a, a chat what's going on with you what kind of pains what kind of ailments what's your medical history have you had surgeries um have you been to see a chiropractor have you been to you know what why are you coming to to get a massage if you've never been to a massage okay what what in your eyes are you expecting or in your head do you expect to happen during this massage um, so now I have a better picture of what they think is gonna happen um, and then I, I I nicely tell them you know yes that's gonna happen no I'm sorry that's not how it's gonna work let me explain to you what's gonna work uh, we're gonna get in between the sheets you get down to whatever you're comfortable in uh, obviously it is a much soothing uh, a, a more fluid massage without the clothes mm -hmm. um, but on top of that, you you have a choice. I can either tell you exactly what I'm doing the entire time the first time, so that way there's nothing that's a surprise, or I can just do the massage, and if you have a question, please ask. I'd rather you know what I'm doing rather than mm -hmm. trying to figure it out. Um, we will take deep breaths at certain points. We will flip you over, but you will be completely covered at all times. Uh, the only time that you will not be covered is if I'm working on your arm and I pull your arm out. If I'm working on your leg and I drape your leg. Um, if I'm working on your back and if you're wearing underwear, I tuck the sheet into your underwear so that way there's a clean line as to where, you know, where it will stop. Um, granted, if I am working on glutes, 90% of the time I am working above the sheet. There are some of those uh, triathlon people that, <laughs> no, just get in there. Just get in there. <laughs> exactly. Uh, but they're there. comfortable with massage and right. they know that nothing else is going to happen other than me, you know, loosening up the glutes. So, um, 
but it, it, it is a process to get comfortable if you're not already comfortable and we can take as long as you'd like or as little as you'd like if you I, I don't know I've never been I will let's just dive into it okay let's dive into it or if you need five sessions to get to where you are comfortable and taking off your shirt and your bra fantastic um I know like I'm one of these people who's like I don't want to hear a sound <laughs> it's like my turn to just like zone out and then I have clients that you know they talk about having a massage and they talk through the whole massage so you probably get the whole gamut yeah. you know from front to rear um do you use any particular essential oils or anything like that what do you use for um for the massage I have had the whole gamut in <laughs> sessions with Lewis. In fact, my last session probably went from talking to perfectly yep. silent. Yep. So he yeah. he can do all of those different yeah. levels. And his office is very um, not it's not bright, so it's darker. So you 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 feel comfortable because it's not exactly bright lights. And he a lot of times probably is doing everything by feel because it's sometimes especially this time of year when yes. it's the winter, it gets really dark in there. Early, yes. <laughs> well, I go in the evening. I guess yeah. it's not dark exactly. during the day. So. What was the original question? Uh, if you use essential oils. Oh, or uh, so I do use essential oils. Um, they are displayed. Um, I, I use doTERRA at the moment, okay. um, but I have used Young Living. Um, essential oils are a great way to um, benefit or uh, to help massage. Um, I can only do a certain amount, but when you use uh, essential oils, it, uh, it helps your body a, a little quicker. Um, I do use CBD oil okay. um, that I got from Miss Susie. <laughs> um, and um, and I, I do do the, I do get the full gamut, and I always tell everyone there are, there are some people that in order for them to release have to get off uh, whatever's on their mind. So if you want to talk, you are more than welcome to talk. There might be some particular parts where I can't talk because I don't know what you're talking about. So just <laughs> give it to me. Yeah. I don't want to give you any kind of advice because you're not I don't because uh, I'm not a therapist. <laughs> um, but if you want to talk, absolutely. If you if you're mad about that that football game. I can talk about football, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. If you want to talk about travel, we can talk about travel. You want to talk about dogs? Awesome. Um, but there are, and like Susie said, there there's there are a lot of people that come and the first 10, 15 minutes they're talking, you know, whatever. Then I get to that point, I said, okay, now I need to take a nice deep breath. So now they're breathing so they can't talk. And then as we start to go on, you know, 10, 20 minutes later, you start to hear them snore. Uh, so now there you, you go. so now you know that they are completely relaxed. <laughs> um, right, and they, they yes, snore. exactly. <laughs> and everyone always says, "Oh my gosh, I'm drooling. Oh my gosh, I was snoring." Those are all compliments. Right. I will take them. Right. Yes. Um, so you mentioned that you're using the CBD oil, and just for some of our viewers, um, I don't know if you saw the our past segments on CBD, but the the cannabinoids you have receptors right at your skin level. They're called CB2 receptors, and when you use CBD as a topical, what it does to those receptors is it activates right there at the skin level and relaxes. Um, so when you've got a muscle that's inflamed, your neck is inflamed, your lower back is inflamed, when you put that CBD right on there, those receptors activate pretty quickly. Yeah, and um, you know, massage is one way to get to those receptors, um, but when you use a CBD or essential oils, mm -hmm. it is, it, it's almost like two, two boxers fighting one. <laughs> you know, we, we are double teaming those particular right. muscles for relaxation to come quicker. Um, so absolutely, CBD is a, I'm, I'm so happy uh, how, where it's coming from, right. and I'm excited to see where it goes to. Um, I have a friend in um, Colorado who now does all CBD massage, and she is trying to bring it to Venice, but it's like a next level. Okay. Uh, CBD. Looking um, I, forward to that. Yes, yes. Um, so I, that is one thing that I am looking forward to. Um, it is a certification you do have to go get. Really? Yes. Um, but it is. It's. It sounds pretty exciting. So it, hopefully, uh, within the next year, I will be pushing that a little more. So. Good. Good. Yeah. So let's get some more people in there so he can go get yes. a CBD certification. <laughs> so how does we get in touch with him? Yeah, that's a good question. <laughs> how do people find you? Uh, well, um, per. My main uh, way is word of mouth. Um, I like word of mouth because it allows me to screen clients. Um, when I, if, if I have someone and they need something that I can't do, I hate to say it, I don't do that particular mus I don't do lymphatic massage. Right. I want to refer you to someone else. Right. Um, so word of mouth, I, they contact me um, and we have a conversation via text or via phone call. 
and that way I know I'm not wasting their time, I'm not wasting right. my time. Um, the easiest way to, uh, to get a hold of me is call or text. Uh, 941-234-7051. Um, but the other way can is... You, can you do that again slower? 941-234-7051. Thank you. Um, another way is to talk to someone who's, who's been on my table. Um, I, I, I think at this point I've had quite a few people on my table in Venice, uh, Nicole Mustasser, Soda, and Inglewood. Um, they, they, most people will tell you what they like, what they don't like, that I've changed the way I did my first massage compared to how I do their massage now because of their needs. Um, but that would be the best way to get contact me. There is another option. I do work at a spa in Inglewood uh, called 2Ks. I am there Tuesdays and Thursdays. That would be the other way. You can come in. I can have the same conversation with you and I can do the massage. Um, but, um, you know, there, I, I still do kind of the screening process. So. And if anyone has any questions, uh, they can also contact us because we've both had massages from mm -hmm. him. So we're happy to share our experiences. If you want to ask us personal, private questions about his massage, don't hesitate. Um, you can contact me, 941-421-7155. That's my discount med direct in Port Charlotte, uh, 2414, 2414 <laughs> Tammy, Tammy Amy Trail, Unit 1. And... You know, Louis doesn't even know this yet, but what we can do here at the Your Total Body Wellness Center is have a spotlight. Maybe you can come and set up and do some chair massages and we can do like a little seminar on stress relief or something and have you here because um, there's plenty of room here for you to set up. Absolutely. And we can do, we can do some chair. I will let you guys know about that. I just thought of it. I thought it was a great <laughs> idea. You know, what the heck? Um, Stuff just comes to us while we're doing know, this. It's Sunday morning and I'm just having, you know, Great ideas here. Uh, it's Beth Annie Stockdale, your Total Body Wellness Center, located at 800 East Venice Avenue, Suite C, Venice, Florida, 34285. My phone number here is 941-468-7091. Um, yes, the benefits of massage for stress relief. Y'all don't understand how damaging stress is to your body. And you know, I'm a certified brain health coach. And when your stress is up, your cortisol is up, which is your stress hormone. Your cortisol is up, your brain flow, your, your blood flow to your brain is down. So there's a direct correlation between your stress levels and your brain health. So that's why I encourage everybody to start getting regular massages, just you know, for that alone. You know, to increase the blood flow to your brain, I think is a great idea. Yeah. So thank you, Louis, for coming. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming. Um, and I agree, totally get massages. I go every three to four weeks and I wouldn't miss, although we sometimes have, but <laughs> due to one or both of us, but um, yeah, so I definitely recommend that you go in and get a massage. If not with Lewis, there's plenty of good massage therapists out there, or if somebody's watching somewhere else, just ask around. I'm sure one of your friends knows a good massage therapist. Tell us one more time that phone number. So I'm Luis Cruz with Relax Massage, and it's 941-234-7051. And if you are in Venice, I am just one massage, one massage therapist out of probably 100. There are plenty of people. Figure out what works best for you. It doesn't have to be me, but in the bigger scheme of things, as long as you're getting massage, that's what matters. As long as you're taking care of yourself, that's right. what matters. Right, and what massages do is supercharge your, your health. health. <laughs>